Hmm, that's definitely seen better days, isn't it? Oh, not even a clamp on there. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video on the Golf, the daily Mark IV 1.9 PD-130. So on a previous video, doing the uh, ARB bushes, we found that the inner CV boot, constant velocity joint boot on this side, front left, was uh, a little bit tired. It was a bit split, it wouldn't gone all the way through and it was loose on the shaft. But anyway, so uh, I've got a kit uh, and we're going to change it because, and we're doing an inspection of the CV joint whilst we're there. But yeah, so I did buy a kit from, from GSF. It's a boot kit. So, oh, these are so hard to open. Right, so what do we get in the kit? We get some gloopy, gloopy grease, which is good. A boot, that looks small. I hope that's the right one. We'll find out in a minute. A circlip. Some clips for the inner and outer of the boot. And a handy dandy top hat thing, which whether we need to change that or not, I don't know, but it's there. So, uh, yeah, let's pull that back in. I can't for the life of me remember how much that was. So I'll stick it on the screen. And if it's not on the screen, I've forgotten to stick it on the screen. Anyway, um, we're gonna. I'm gonna put the front end up. I'm not gonna tip it on its side. I'm gonna hit lift the whole front, just in case we have to do a link with the anti-roll bar or drop links for link to get some room to get the shaft in and out. I I don't know. We'll find out in a minute. And of course, we're gonna have to undo the hub nut, which is normally pretty tight. So I'm gonna use my ugger dugger. If you haven't got a decent ugger dugger, take the center cap out. Pop this grimy, horrible centre cap out. Get you a 12 point, whatever size it is, 30 something, I can't remember, I'll have a look in a minute, in there and undo it with it on the ground. Uh, otherwise you will struggle to get it undone. Um, okay, All right, let's get it up on the on the jack stands and let's take some, take some stuff apart. I, I won't put you through that, let's just get it up in the air. Save you time. So here we have the boot in, uh, in question, you can see there's not even a clamp on the bottom and yeah, it doesn't look good and that's in poor condition up there, you can see it's split. Um, looking at it, obviously we've got to do that, undo that one which is a 30mm 12 point. So we'll get the, uh, the bigger rugger dugger on that one. Um, I don't know if we'd be able to lift it up up into that area up there um, and not have to take the bottom bordering off underneath here and this one here don't know because then we might have to release the brake caliper so what I'm gonna do undo this one and I'll go around and just you can oh, do one at a time and turn it from sort of get an extension in here and oh uh, yeah once that one's released I'll probably turn the steering maybe that way and see if we can get it to go up like that back and out I, I don't know probably not but let's try it and then if not we'll have to break that bottom ball joint so let's start with getting this one off I'll set it up on a tripod and we'll see what happens well let's see what you got big ugga dugga oh yes Easy peasy. Give that a tap in. She's gone. Right. Next up, I'll reset you so hopefully you can see in there. There. Right, let's get you into a better position and see if we can wiggle it out. Right, let's see if we can uh, 
berth, this drive shaft. I've uh, turned the steering all to one side to try and get a bit of slack on this and then let's see what we can do. Try not to hit my hand. Come on. God, you don't want to come out. Big rammer. Because it's at an angle, I guess. Right, let's see if we can get a wiggle on. Get that one up as high as we can. Well, that's a shame. Oh, we're going to have to split that bottom board joint, aren't we? Hmm. Have a quick try with the steering straight. See if that might give us any more slack us tight in there. Oh, that's so close. Yes! That's uh that's out of the hub. It'll come out or not, I don't know. <laughs> That's gonna be fun to get back in, but yes, hey, there it is. We are at the bench, and we can see it a bit better now. That's obviously just slipped over that which is a bit weird I expected to be a, a clamp on there or something and you can see that oops sorry you're in the shadow there it's uh, quite badly split so I'm guessing we just have to tap this off looks like there's a join there and then tap that off and I'm guessing well seems there's a circlip in the kit There'll be a circle in here and we can tap the CV off, give it all a good clean up and go from there. Set you up on a camera, on a tripod even, here somewhere, so we can see what's going on. So here are all our parts, that one came off okay, that's been a bit tight on there so I'm going to have to put it in the vise once I've got rid of the, move the drive shaft. And here's the CV joint, the constant velocity joint. So um, that boot I've checked, I just put a screwdriver behind it, that'll pop off really easy. So I think next I'm going to get my little cleaning bath out and give it all a clean. We need want to keep these relatively flat and not tip them too much if that makes sense we don't want to turn it because the balls will come out so keep be careful like keep it on a flat surface once you've got these bits off because we you know they are rebuildable 
the problem about it, but it's best if they're kept in the same place. Anyway, ooh, it's moving itself. Um, I'm going to give this a clean up and then I'll uh, show you the clean parts. Well, we're all cleaned up. I only use my little bench top parts cleaner. A good piece of kit if you can get one and you've got a place to store it. Always useful. So it's all nice and clean and all runs lovely. And I've had a look at the balls and it all seems okay. So, a mark on that one. Oh, that's just a bit of old grease. Somebody wants me. So uh, basically, just going to stick it all back together with some of this new grease. I'll stick it in the vise and I guess I'll stick you back on the uh, tripod and we'll bung it back together. And if you do like what we're doing here, find it informative, entertaining, please give us a thumbs up. And like I was saying a minute ago, these, you don't want, that can go up and down flat and it won't come out. I show you. As long as you keep it flat, it won't fall out. But if you twisted that now, the balls would start falling out. So yeah, just be careful where you handle it. That's it all done, all looking good, all greased up. Lovely, just got to try and get it back in now. Let's get it back under there. All right, let's see if we can remember how this goes back in. Bugger. Well, it looks like I have got to undo that bottom ball joint after all. But, never mind. Ah. It's just one of them things. Obviously, I, could, I couldn't compress it enough uh, to get the joint in. And pulling on it is different than it, I suppose. Never mind, let's get this off. It's only an 18 mil spanner on this bottom ball joint and then we'll hit it and hopefully spread it then.
Oh, Houston, we have a problem. Can you see that? That bolt won't go past the clamp. That clamp there, the boot clamp. So I'm going to have to take this out again and move that. But that's something to remember. Make sure your loops don't line up with your bolt holes. Ah. Well, every day is a learning day. Remember to put that between the bolt holes. I'm going to throw that back on. You get the idea. I'll catch up with you in a sec. Right, that's them done all to a 50 pound foot. So pretty much done apart from that one. Uh, drop link is done up. Uh, ball joint is done up. Um, yeah, like I say, just gotta do that one up. So let's I'm gonna rattle you, I do apologize. Stick you in there. Let's just wang that up for now. And then, all we've got to do is get the wheel on, get it on the floor, and we'll talk this one up. So all we've got left to do now is do up the hub nut behind here with our 30mm 12 point socket on this one. Now there's lots of talk on the internet of what torque to do it to. I'm going to do it the way I'm going to do it, but I suggest you look it up and you decide what you want to do because there's so many people having so, so many different ideas. What I'm going to do is do it up to 200 newton meters, then I'm going to back it off half a turn, do it up to 50 newton meters, and then do it 45 degrees. So, and we'll see what happens. I mean, it should be pretty flipping tight, shouldn't it? So anyway, let's get this cap off. Oh, easier said than done. There we go. Right. Need to get some new ones then. They look horrible. Yeah, our socket. This is the way I found it easier to do. Everybody has a different way. So we've got 200 newton meters set on that. Right, that's the 200. And we back it off. Half a turn. And then we'll do it 50. And then 45 degrees. Which is about... There we go. Well, that's it. All done. All done and dusted. All back together. I have to go on a test drive. I will do that. Um, but yeah, not too bad a job. Ultimately, undo that bottom ball joint and, and do that straight away. First thing makes it easier to get out and possible to get back in. I, I guess because I was pulling it, it was twisting the, uh, the, the outer CV more than I could do by hand and it popped out. But... Yes, yeah, so the bottom ball joint's got to come undone, which is not too bad. Um, yeah, and remember, get that clip that holds the, uh, the gator in the, the right place, not in the way of the bolt holes. Bit of a rookie error, but every day is a school day, as they say. Right, that's it. Um, oh, look us up on Instagram, Larks underscore workshop. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you next time. Cheers then. <coughs> I need to point the camera at you. know, I'll start again. Why do I keep on not pointing the camera at me? I suppose you don't really want to see me, but hey, there we go. Ah, oh, let's start that again.